ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Dito, sinisiguro namin may challenge para sa bawat contestant at viewer at laging may bagong natututunan habang pinagdadaanan ang challenge na yan. Kaya naman, stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Ang apat nating daily winners ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na to. Stephen is a fourth-year education student of UP Diliman majoring in physics education. He loves spending time socializing, watching movies and series, and engaging in physical activities. He also enjoys trying out new places to eat near the campus. Jam is a geodetic engineering student from UP Diliman hailing from Butuan City, Agusan del Norte. She sings in a band and in a choir. Her hobbies including watching TV series, singing and traveling. She aims to become a volcanologist or a seismologist someday. Si Jed is a trans, non-binary visual artist studying in UE Kaloocan who is interested in making character designs. Jed hopes to become a successful artist one day. Last but not least, Jelly is a geography student of UP Diliman. She loves reading transformative works during her free time. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Next, we have Assistant Professor Marla Indriga of the Department of Biology from UP Manila. And finally, we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former Chair of the Department of History from UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, narito na ang first round. This is also your first opportunity to earn points, so get ready to buzz in. Let's, Let's begin! This is round one. Question number one. Which member of the Beatles became the first musician to become a billionaire in the UK in 2024? Jed. John Lennon. John Lennon is wrong. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is Paul McCartney. Question number two. The troposphere is the lowest layer of which gaseous part of the Earth's surface? The Jelly. The atmosphere. Atmosphere is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. What day in the month of May was proclaimed as National Flag Day to commemorate the date that the Philippine flag was first unfurled at the Battle of Alapan in 1898? May 9. May 9 is wrong. Anyone can steal. Jam. May 14. May 14 is wrong. Pwede pang... Mangula. The correct answer is May 28. Question number 4. Someone with alopecia suffers the loss of what growth of the body? Hair. Hair is correct. Okay, check. Question number 5. A backboard that measures 42 inches by 72 inches is used in what sport? Jelly. Basketball. Basketball is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. In the AFP, what rank falls between Colonel and Major General? Jam. Lieutenant. Lieutenant is wrong. Anyone can steal? Steven. Lieutenant Colonel. Lieutenant Colonel is wrong. Jelly. General. General is wrong. Jed? The correct answer is Brigadier General. Question number seven. In what province can you find Mount Samat National Shrine? Jam. Davao del Sur. Davao del Sur is wrong. The 
The correct answer is Bataan. It's Mount Samat, not Samal. And it's an island. Question number eight. In mental math, what number is one half the sum of 68 and 88? Stephen? 77. 77 is wrong. Good job. 78. 78 is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. To what phylum do insects, spiders, shrimps, and centipedes belong? Jam. Invertebrates. Invertebrates is wrong. Hindi umabot. Hindi umabot, Jed. Pasensya na. The correct answer is anthropoda or anthropods. It's arth arthropoda or arthropods. Okay? Question number 10. The Battle of Plassey was a decisive victory of the British over the Viceroy of Bengal and his allies in 1757. In what country did this historic battle happen? The correct answer is India. Question number 11. In what century did Emilio Aguinaldo become president of the revolutionary government of the Philippines? Jam. 19th century. 19th century is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round, number 12. On which continent do about 60% of the world population live? Jam. Asia. Asia is correct. Okay, check. And that's it for round number one. Maraming salamat, Jules, for that round. And after that first round, Jam and Jelly are tied with 30 points each, while Stephen and Jed still have to catch up. So two more rounds to go, and in the end, we will reveal our weekly winner. Itutuloy ang competition sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap tayo. In the lead, sina Jam at Jelly tied sila with 30 points. And sina Stephen at Jed naman ay hahabol pa. And now it's time for round 2, contestants. Remember, there is a twist in this round. Each correct answer is worth 20 points, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So good luck! Let's begin! This is round 2. Question number one, contestants. Which singer won the Best New Artist Trophy at the 2019 Grammy Awards after... Yes, Jen? Billie Eilish. You are probably a fan. After being the first music artist born in the 21st century to release a number one song, which is Bad Guy. Of course, everyone knows, and of course, Jed knows that the correct answer is Billie Eilish. Check. Question number two. Who has received a total of seven Academy Award nominations for Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor, including those for Glory, Malcolm X, Training Day, and Flight? The correct answer is Denzel Washington. Question number three. Which Dutchman won three consecutive Formula One World Drivers' Championships from 2021 to 2023? Yes, Jenny. Silly clerk, Paul. Charles of Kirk. The answer is incorrect. Max Verstappen is the correct answer. Alam sana ni Jelly. Mas mahirap lang i-pronounce. Question number four. Which Russian author wrote the classic novel? War and Peace. <laughs> Leo Tolstoy po. Leo Tolstoy is the correct answer. K-check. Question number five. In what city can you find the Philippine 
Military Academy. Jelly. Baguio City. Baguio City is the correct answer. K check. Question number six. What term for a nymph or lesser goddess in Philippine mythology was given to the Philippine microsatellite deployed into orbit from the International Space Station in 2016? Jam. Diwata. Diwata is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. What term that comes from the Greek word for ancient is the study of the history of life on Earth as based on fossils? Jelly. Archaeology. Archaeology is incorrect. Jam. Anthropology. Anthropology is also incorrect. Masyado nag-uunahan tong si Jam at saka si Jelly. The correct answer is paleontology. Question number eight. Which governor of the province of Capiz was elected president of the Philippine Commonwealth in 1946? I'm sorry, but you buzzed too late, Jelly. But the correct answer is... Manuel Rojas. Question number nine. Encephalitis is the inflammation of what body organ or its active tissues? Jelly. The brain is the correct answer. K check. Question number ten. Which British composer became famous for his musicals? The Phantom of the Opera, Jesus Christ Superstar, Superstar, Jesus Christ Superstar, and School of Rock. Jam. Lin Manuel Miranda. Parang masadong late na pinanganak. The answer is incorrect. Shadin ba ang sa cats? Andrew Lloyd Webber is the correct answer. Question number 11. What is the name of the Federal Expressway in Germany that is famous for not imposing speed limits for vehicles? The correct answer is the Autobahn. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. In astronomy, what do you call a dark, planet-sized region that appears on the surface of the Sun Created by powerful magnetic fields, jam. Black spot. Black spot is incorrect. Sunspot. Sunspot is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for our second round. Maraming salamat, Attorney Gabby, for that round. Kamusta yun naman natin ang ranking ng ating mga contestants. Nangunguna si Jelly with 90 points, followed by Jam and Jed tied with 20 points each. As si Stephen naman, pwede pang humabol sa susunod nating round. Yan ang ultimate pagalingan round sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! -check. And welcome back to K-Check. Points recap tayo. Jelly is in the lead with 90 points. Followed by Jam and Jed with 20 points each. At si Stephen naman, pwede pang humabol. Dito na sa paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. So dito sa round na to, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Remember also, contestants, for this multiple-choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. So let's go for those points and for the win. Let's, let's begin! begin. Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question, Prof. Sophie. Thank you, Jules. In the mid-15th century, the early Renaissance painter Sandro Botticelli painted The Birth of Venus, which depicted Venus standing on a A. Column B. Pedestal Jelly. Clampo. Sorry, mali po. Okay. Um, let me finish with the options. 
A. Column B. Pedestal C. Cloud D. Scallop E. Field of Flowers D. Scallops Scallop is correct. Okay, check. Next question, Prof. Marla. Science. Which of the following genetic techniques is used to diagnose genetic disorders before birth? A. Genetic counseling B. Newborn screening C. Amniocentesis D. Genetic engineering E. Polymerase chain reaction Gen. Newborn screening po. Mali. Stephen. Am amniocentesis po. The correct answer is C. Amniocentesis. K-check. Next question, Prof. Lu. Okay, Asian geography tayo. Which of the following Asian countries is not landlocked, meaning not entirely surrounded by land? The choices are A. Myanmar B. Laos C. Mongolia D. Afghanistan or E. Nepal Jen. Um, Myanmar the southern part of Myanmar has a coastline of 2,300 kilometers long and can be accessed through the Bay of Bengal and the Andaman Sea. The correct answer is A, Myanmar, K check. Thank you. Now on to our second round of questions, Prof. Sophie. Art Deco is a style in the visual arts and architecture that was popular from the 1920s to the 1930s. It is characterized by geometric shapes, non-Western motifs, and stylized figures. In the Philippines, the foremost example of Art Deco style in architecture is the A. Cultural Center of the Philippines B. Manila Film Center C. Manila Metropolitan Theater D. Metropolitan Museum of Manila E. Manila Central Post Office The Manila Metropolitan Theater at Plaza Lawton was designed by architect Juan M. Arellano in 1931. It is considered a national cultural treasure. Okay. You should pay the visit. It was, it was just renovated in 1921. Eh, 2021, I'm sorry. Yes. 2020. <laughs> Thank you. Prof. Marila. Which hormone is known as the stress hormone? Jam. Cortisol. Let me read the choices. A. Dopamine. B. Serotonin. C. Oxytocin. D. Adrenaline. E. Cortisol. Marami ba kayo nito ngayon? <laughs> correct answer is E. Cortisol. K. Check. Prof. Lu. Okay, world history. The founder of the Nobel Prize, Alfred Nobel, was a citizen of which country? A. Switzerland B. Sweden C. Germany D. Austria E. Hungary Before he passed on uh, December 10, 1896, Alfred Nobel, the inventor of dynamite, signed his last will and testament to set aside the bulk of his estate to establish the Nobel Prizes, to be awarded annually without distinction of nationality. The Nobel Prizes in Physics, Chemistry, Medicine, and Literature are awarded in Stockholm, Sweden, his birthplace, while the Nobel Peace Prize is awarded in Oslo, Norway. The correct answer is B, Sweden. Thank you. We're halfway done. So let's do a scores recap, Attorney. Well, after that first half, Jelly is still in the lead with 90 points, followed by Jed and Jam, who are tied in second place with 50 points each, and followed by Stephen with 30. 
So we still have 180 points for the last two rounds. Simulan na natin, Prof. Sophie. Thank you. In art and culture, the impulse to fill a space with detail and content, leaving as little perceived emptiness as possible, is called A. Agoraphobia B. Minimalism C. Abstract Expressionism D. Baroque E. Horror vacuum. Um, when you go to places and then you see all the teddy bears on display, you want to anik. No, there's like this fear of empty space. Horror vacuum is Latin literally, no? For fear of empty space or horror of empty space. Thank you. Prof Marla, next question. What part of the flower connects the stigma to the ovary? A. Sepal. B. Anther C. Style D. Petal E. Stamen Jam. Style The correct answer is C. Style K. Check oh, Humahabul na si Jam kay Jelly With Jelly still at 90 points Jam with 80 points Okay Prof Lu. Okay, alert tayo. Philippine Geography. Tubataha Reef, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is located in which sea within the Philippine territory? A. West Philippine Sea B. Sulu Sea C. Visayan Sea D. Sibuyan Sea or E. Samar Sea Stephen. Sulusi. The Tubataha Natural Park is a protected area of the Philippines located in the middle of the Sulu Sea. It is home to more than 1,200 marine species, including sea grasses and algae, corals, sharks, rays, fishes, sea turtles, seabirds, and marine mammals. The correct answer is B. Sulusi. K. Check. Now we're off to our last round. Yes, but after the third round, Jelly is in first place with 90 points, followed by Jam with 80. Stephen is now in third place with 60 points, and Jed with 50. And that's what can happen because we have 90 points left points, correct. for this last round. Prof. Sophie, go ahead. Okay, um, so this one's for those with active imaginations. <laughs> the tendency to perceive the man in the moon Images in the clouds or faces in food, for example, seeing Elvis on a piece of toast, is called A. A miracle B. Projection C. Parallax error D. Deja vu E. Pareidolia Stephen Parallax error. Mali po. Jed. Paridolia. Okay. So, um, yung etymology of paridolia is pare or para, which means alongside. And then, idolia is image. Uh, so, paridolia no, is when you see um, Elvis on a piece of toast. Okay, check. Jelly has 90 points, Jed and Jam have 80 points, and Stephen has 45. Let's see, 60 points With left. 60 points left. Prof. Marla. Good luck, contestants. Okay. Who discovered the neutron? A. Rutherford. B. Bohr. C. Thomson. D. Chadwick. E. Curie. B. Bohr. Mali. Stephen. Thompson. Mali. Rutherford. Mali pa rin. B. 
The correct answer is D. Chadwick. I guess mag-scores recap tayo. <laughs> <laughs> Mag-scores recap tayo kasi biglang nasa lead ngayon si Jed with 80 points followed by Jelly with 75 points, Jam with 65, Stephen with 30. Okay, so 30 points left. 30 points left. Kailangan mag-strategize It sa can be sasagot. anybody's game yes. with one question to go. Let's do this. Prof. Lu. Okay, ang huling katanungan natin ay sa kasaysayan at relihiyon. In Islam, who calls for the Friday or daily prayer from the mosque? A. Maulawi B. Kadi C. Muezzin D. Ulama or E. Haji Jam. E. Haji Incorrect, sorry. Stephen B. Kadi No, sorry, mali po. Yung ulama po. Hindi po ulama. <laughs> the Muezzin is the official who proclaims the call to prayer on Friday for the public worship and the calls to daily prayer five times a day. The correct answer is C. Muezzin. Grabe. Napakasakit naman, no? <laughs> Well, that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Jed, our K-Check Weekly winner with a final score of 80 points. Congratulations, Jed. At maraming salamat kay Stephen, kay Jam, at lalo na kay Jelly for giving us a nerve-wracking, stressful experience today. Maraming salamat for joining. And of course, to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Sophie, Professor Marla, and Professor Lou, this has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang. Join us again on Monday for another K-Check! K -check!